everybody. I know it's been like two weeks since I've done my, like, my last video. So today I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys my November favorites. Um, I don't have too many. I have one, two, seven favorites for this month. And um, I hope you guys enjoy. So the first thing, the first item that I have for my favorites is from my, not my influencer, <laughs> um, Wow, from one of my boxes, it is my Chella um, eyebrow defining um, gel, and I have to say, like, at first I didn't like it too much, and then, like, I started using it, and using it, and using it, and it pretty much, like, it really did help keep my eyebrows in shape. Um, I don't like it as much as I like the e.l.f. I do like the fact that it's not as runny as e.l.f. I know with the e.l.f. cosmetics um, brow gel, it's like the thicker consistency and you can actually see the gel with this you can't I'll show you guys like on the end of course but on the actual thing you can't and that was my main concern I was like oh I can't see the gel like I like for me I have to see the mascara like I have to see the gel like I have to see whatever it is and this one you can't and I found out that eventually that it was really good that I didn't see it um because it shows that it is the right amount uh, la, la, la. You guys can find this in my my box opening from about a few weeks ago. Um, I'm sorry, like the name, everything is just slipping off the top of my head right now. But I'll definitely put everything in the box down below. Um, wow. Okay. So my second item, my second favorite item, and it's been one of my favorite items for a while now, and I just haven't used it. Forgot how good it was is my Nutrigenics mask from the body shop and it's the smoothing mask and it's the the target because all of the body shops um lines are the, what the ingredients are for are targeted towards different things like tea trees more towards blemishes the vitamin e is more towards healthy glowing skin um the Nutrigenics is i believe is really towards first size signs of aging and I mean I'm not aging but it's just like I like to keep my skin like very like tight and smooth and I really really enjoy this product I think it's like $22 22 20, 22 dollars for a pot like this and it lasts like it lasts. like you don't use it every day like I've had this for a while <laughs> and the only reason why like my first tube of it lasted me like a good like year and a half this one's lasted me just a couple of like couple of months um I don't really use it too much but like me and my roommate we share it and she and I are both like oh my god this is great uh this is what it looks like it's really like it has a really like nice smooth consistency like when you put it on it just slides on really easy it spreads like you don't need a lot that's the one thing I learned about this because most masks you're like oh my god I need more I need more I need more and this one you don't like you really only need a little bit and you can actually spot treat like when I use this I use it like here and like my forehead because like your forehead is really where you get wrinkles and then you put them like right here where like you would like where you were where you would normally get crow's feet if you had them um and I really enjoy this and even my grandma like my grandmother I left one pot at my grandmother's house and she uses it and like she's all about keeping her skin like people think that she's my mom so she keeps her skin like very nice very clean very fresh and very tight and she really really enjoyed this so if my grandmother says it then I'm pretty sure you will too but this is one of my favorite masks from body shop my next um uh, my next item is my urban decay eyeshadow priming lotion i got this from nord nordstrom nordstrom rack for like eight dollars this it's like the new bottle and it has a little brush And I've kind of gotten to the point where I'm just like, oh, I'll just wear this color by itself because it really the the color of the potion is a really nice color. Um, I pretty much put it on, just dab it on do it like near my lash line, and then I just kind of use my fingers and go all the way up to the crease. And sometimes I'll go up here depending on what my depending on what I plan on doing my look for. Um, let it dry. Let it sit not dry. Let it sit for like a minute, and then I put my um. 
eyeshadow on. So it works a little bit differently than regular like face primer, but it gets the job done. It's truly one of my favorite items. I've been using this like every single day this month, so I highly recommend this. Um, my next item is my Sephora Corrector Perfecting Cover Concealer, and it's in 28 medium, 25. I'm sorry, because my foundation is 28 caramel. So this is, could get. My foundation is 28 bake medium caramel. This is 25 medium beige. And I actually have it like under my eyes right now. And it's really good. Like I really like it. I my major concern with this was how long will this tube last me? I wear makeup almost every day. Um now I won't be wearing makeup as much due to reasons that you will see in another video. But um I the the first month that I've had this I was using this like every day I still have full full thing and it's 0.5 fluid ounces um this was I think it was like twelve dollars ten dollars six dollars something like that I'll put it in the box down below um I really liked it I really 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 enjoy it you don't need a lot um like I said like they said it's gonna last me like three to four months it lasts like it will last you like cause it's supposed to last you six. It, the expiration date is six months from the date of opening, so probably by like April I'll need a new one if I don't have any. If I don't already have a new one, but this is really great. Like you just put dab it on your fingers, um, dab it, smooth it, and it actually like it gets the areas around it too. Like that's what I really liked about it because I didn't have to keep applying it and applying it and applying it. The only time I have to like do that is like if I use like the brush. Like I have the Elf brush for some reason. I guess me the brush and this don't get along so I sit there and it just doesn't it doesn't sit right so I just use my fingers but I love my concealer brush but not for this product um so I really really enjoy this I really think you guys should try this out um go to your local Sephora and ask them be like hi I'm looking for the Sephora brand on um, perfecting cover concealer and see what they say they'll help you out find which product what color will be better for you um I don't recommend powder concealer um that's just like putting on an extra coat of found of mineral foundation just saying all right my next item is also from sephora and it is the retractable lip liner it's the waterproof and it is in number two rose and i love 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 this sorry my voice is a little shaky this is what it looks like. There, right there. And, like, for me, like, it really blends in, like, with my lips. Like, it really does. Like, sometimes I'll just wear it, like, without, like, I'll just put, like, chapsticks on or something with the lip liner. It looks really good. Um, yeah, no, it's waterproof. Like, it really holds to it. It says when it's waterproof, like, it does not come off unless, like, you take it off. Like, I can eat and eat. Like, I can eat, like, all day and it won't come off um i don't know if that's also the lip primer <laughs> that i used to that i just dab on the lip li lip primer and then i put the lip liner on and then i put my lipstick on but even without the lip primer this lasts all day and even sometimes it'll, it'll fade a little bit but most of the time it'll last because when you drink you don't drink from here you drink from here so i think it's just a matter of like going this Like, I do that sometimes, and that's really what can actually cause it to, like, go away, or if you, like, scrub it off. But this is great. Um, I think this was 5 or $12. I don't remember. I bought one, and my friend bought one, and one of us was, like, 5 or 6 and the other one was 12 So I'll put it in the link down below. And it also has this little brush on it, and I use it, like, when I do this. Uh, I can't. Here, I'll show you. It's pretty much like to smooth it out, I think. I don't normally use it, but um, I didn't really see a difference in it. But if I find out ever what this is supposed to be for, I would definitely let you guys know. But I do it like just like if I have like, if I use lipstick or something, I use it just like to blend it in with the lipstick. Alright. My next item, I think I put it in my September, no my October. I think I put it in my October favorites, I'm not sure. But it is the Spiked Eyebrow Crayon by MAC. 
and it's retractable and it's amazing my the girl who does my eyebrows is this one she was like you're because so, i thought i was like oh everyone was like oh you're supposed to use like two shade like a shade or two lighter than your eyebrows she was like no she was like, your eyebrows are naturally too, like, a shade darker than your actual hair. And now that I think about it, I think that I actually kind of believe her more than I believe anybody else because my mom, not my mom, my sister has, like, brown hair. She, like, my hair is, like, between brown and black. Like, right now it's side black. Again, because it used to be, like, really, really, really dark um, when I was younger, jet black. But, um... My sister has, like, really dark, like, chestnut brown hair. Like, it's really pretty. But then, like, her eyebrows are, like, darker. I don't know. It's really weird. On top of that, she has, the, like, the, the natural blonde in her hair. So, it just, I don't know. Like, the shade and the colors. It's a little bit different. But I, um, I actually go by what my esthetician told me. Um, she is a professional makeup artist as well. She's done Fashion Week. So, I, I go with what she says. So, I'm just going to use this until I use it. And then, depending on what color I do my hair, I'll do my eyebrows and we'll go from there. Um, my next favorite item is Henshin Wenwa. I think that's how you say it. It's by Lush. And it is a hair moisturizer. What you do is you pretty much um, take it, dab it, put it in your hands, go like this, like this, put it like in a ponytail, and then breaking the pieces leave it in there for 20 minutes make sure your whole entire hair from the root down is covered um leave it for 20 minutes just a little watery because i haven't used it but um rinse it out like it's supposed to be like a conditioner what i've been doing i'm on this new fix where i'm not really shampooing my hair like if i shampoo my hair it's like once a week or once every week and a half i'm really just I'm washing my hair with conditioner just because shampoo is so like stripping of your hair there's so much alcohol in it and even with like non alcohol shampoo and like sulfate free shampoo like it's not like it's not enough like it kills your hair and I honestly like my hair is just now getting back to a place where like it's clean and like I don't want to say clean but I want to say like fresh like it's freshly clean like it's clean as in the sense that like it's not being chemically processed uh, that may not be the case very soon, but um, we'll see. I'm probably gonna try some color oops, see what this comes out to, and then go from there. Probably like hold my hair back and put it down for a little bit. Don't know how that'll go. Um, yeah, but I really let me take this because it's gonna bother me. I really enjoy this. Um, it's really smooth, soothing, relaxing. It smells great, it has avocado in it, which is a great moisturizer for your hair. Um, there's bay leaf, water, watercress, eggs, bananas, avocado, vinegar, olive oil, rosemary oil, cinnamon leaf oil. There's a, some, there's a little bit of sulfate in here, but I mean, which is the only thing that I really don't like about it, but, um. You're not supposed to use this every day. You're supposed to use it, like, once a week or every, every, every other week. Um, I tried a hair crack in my hair that my friend made me right before right before Thanksgiving break. Actually, no, the day before I left Thanksgiving, before Thanksgiving break, is when she made when she put it in my hair, and I look like a, I look like a damn poodle. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, so, but I also use curling rods with it, so... But we'll see. This is my, this is one of my favorite hair treatments. Okay, so... We'll see how this goes. And speaking of curling rods, those are next on my list. My pack is a little messed up. But I love my Conair curling rods. I paid a little bit too much for them. I paid like $13 for them at Walmart when I could have just gone to the hair store. I paid like 5 bucks. <laughs> Wasn't thinking because this area where I'm at doesn't really have like the hair store. Like It's not like where I can be like, Mom, I'm going to the hair store. And they don't have that up here. If Sally's and Sally's is probably more expensive than Walmart but these are the curling rods I just curled it so you pretty much twist your hair around it here I'll show you you start at the 
I mean, some people start here, but I start back here and then just wrap it. And then you just kind of twist it in. And then you twist. Obviously, that's not the perfect way to do it, but it's somewhere around those lines. I usually do mine when my hair is wet. I'm probably going to gym tonight for tomorrow. But they came in two sizes. This thin, a skinny one and then the big fat one that I showed you. But I'm pretty sure this other size is like $13, $14 at Walmart. Um, You can find them cheaper other places like in Kmart or even like the hair store. Like if you just go like, to like most hair stores, I hate to say it, are owned by um, Asians. But I gotta say they're the best stuff. They're the best prices. So my biggest regret on these is not doing my research and going in and going to the hair store. I could have gone into Manhattan, but I was like in a rush and I was like, oh, I need them. And it didn't happen. But I really, really like these. Just make sure that you have someone helping you with them and that you also like, when you do them, make sure you make your part. Like that's the one thing. Like if you, if I give you any advice with these, use the make a part because when you take them out, it's gonna go all over the place if you don't make a part. Like that's what happened when I look like a damn poodle. Like, we used a hair crack. The hair crack already was, like, making it look like I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna use her line. Um, my friend said that when she used her hair crack and her hair, that her hair was on Hurricane Sandy status. Like, I hate to say it, but, like, the curls were, like, ridiculous. Like, I, that's, like, the worst analogy to use right now. But, you know, like, it works. Like, and then on top of that, like, these by itself are amazing. So... We'll see how this turns out. And I will let you guys know when I use it again. I'm going to use it with my henchman Lenoir tonight. Let's see how that goes. And then my last piece, last but not least, it is my favorite. I've been wearing this like every day. If you follow me on Instagram, you guys can find me wearing it. Um, it is my Pink Nouveau Lipstick Satin Finish by MAC. Oh my god. I love this. I, okay, I was kind of, like, oblivious from, like, the makeup world for a while, and as far as, like, lipstick, because I wasn't really into lipstick, so I've never really followed, like, the, the trends for, like, Viva Glam. Like, I've never really followed it, um, I was never, like, huge, huge, huge into, like, buying massive amounts of makeup for the longest time. I would go through phases. And it just so happened that when Pink Friday came out, I was in my phase where I was I didn't want to go in into a makeup store. Everything I was buying was like generic because I just was like, no, let me just try drugstore for a little bit. Don't think I'll go back to that just because the quality once you once you find a product that you like, like you like that product. Well, that is when Pink Friday came out and I since it was limited edition and everything like now when you go into a Mac it's Viva Glam Nikki it's not Pink Friday it's the new one it got replaced and I needed something that I could wear every day but that I could also go and wear at night um Viva Glam Nikki was not cut, cutting it for me it's a great lipstick I absolutely love it it's shiny it's pink it's bright like it's great but for me to wear it every day was a little much so I called my local Mac store and I was just like was the closest color to um pink friday and mind you i was in virginia at the time because i was like panicking i was like no i need this lip i need a pink lipstick like i have like pinks but like they're like nude and then like i have my cross wires which i was wearing for the longest time and i still have it it was like an orangey tint and they're like oh well pink nouveau is the closest thing oh my goodness i wore this and i bought this i wore it and like i came back to school and someone actually asked me, one of the girls I hang out, she was like, oh, you found Pink Friday? I was like, no, this is Pink Nouveau. She was like, oh. She actually just lost her Pink Friday lipstick, so um, I should have bought one for her for Christmas, but I didn't. I'm sorry, KK. But um, this is great. Like, I use it with my lip primer and my, lip, my rose lip liner by Sephora, and like it lasts like all day. Like I kid you not. Like, I'm used to, like, my Viva Glam and my Cross Wires and, like, all my other lipsticks and lip products, except for my lip stain, coming off while I eat. This does not come off. Like, I don't know what is in this, but, like, I have not experienced it. Like, I'm not saying it doesn't come off, because I'm pretty sure, like, if you go out and buy it, it probably came off. 
but like when I use it, like it does not come off. Like I absolutely love this lipstick. I will continue to use it until it goes, until it hits pan. Um, it's great. I love it. And that is all the favorites I have for today. So watch out for my next video and you guys will learn a little bit more about why I can't wear a lot of makeup now. And, um, pretty much just getting more finals and things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great night.